Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with Cobra today at the 2019 PGA Merchandise Show. I've got Jose Miraflor with me. We've got an exciting new product to talk about, new King Mim wedges. That's right. These are beautiful, and there's a really unique story going on in terms of how these are constructed. Absolutely. The, the name MIM is M-I-M, stands for Metal Injection Molding, and that's used in the industry, right, Chris? We see it a lot in uh, manufacturers using it. In fact, in our game improvement F9 irons, we use MIM to shape these tungsten pieces because they have to be perfectly shaped to fit in the crevices where you're using weighting. So that's one of the things people have been using MIM for for over the years in golf and even outside of golf. What we've decided to do this year is actually use that construction technology and use it to develop the entire head. I mean, when you look at wedges, Chris, I think what's important to most golfers? Feel and shape of your wedge, and that's what the MIM process can do. The process really aligns the grain structure of the wedge really tight like a forging uh, and gives you a really great superior feel. But unlike a forging, it doesn't require as much handling and hand polishing the finish. It comes out in a really nice shape, and all we need to do is polish it up. Instead of hand polishing, we're using robotics. So a computer-controlled robot that's hydraulically controlled will polish this wedge on a wheel, and it's in charge of the pressure, the amount of time. It just gives us this bright look, and then we finish it in this nice chrome finish. Yeah, and it's elegant looking, and it's also, with the material, the, the stainless you use, extremely soft. 304 stainless steel is pretty soft. It, it, it is a stainless steel, and people say, well, stainless steel is pretty hard. Actually, the, through the process of MIM, it's actually softening that material up a little bit. So I, it's a really good platform to use to take a material and make it even softer. And these wedges are going to be available in two degree increments from 50 to 60 degrees. That's correct. And with your versatile sole grind. I explain to our consumers kind of the versatile sole grind and its benefits. The versatile sole grind helps most golfers for different types of tank angles from medium to slightly steep to even a little bit shallow. It's one of the all trade ones. Um, it, it, some people will call it a C grind because it looks a little bit like a C. You've relieved the toe, you've relieved the heel so you can open this up or you can stand it up on its toe when you're doing bump and runs and it, it allows you to have a very versatile outlook on what, how you attack your shots. It has the iconic Cobra notch here that we've had in our, in our wedges for a long time and that allows you at a dress, even though this wedge may have some bounce in it, for it to sit closer to the ground and it allows you when you open it up in a bunker to really slide under that golf ball with ease and do its work. It doesn't stop there, you know, we, we also 100% mill the faces of these wedges. And Chris, if you take a look at your wedge, you can see there's a really cool uh, circular pattern, milling pattern to it, much like you see in our drivers and our fairways. And we're just reminding people that this is 100% milled. We mill the face flat, we mill each groove. In fact, between the lower lofted uh, wedges, there's a deeper uh, groove, while on the higher lofted wedges, it's a wider groove, so it accepts more golf balls because of its oblique angle. It'll allow more golf ball to be caught by the grooves. So we're really thinking of all facets here of performance for somebody. You want feel, you want the perfect grind on this so you can work through the turf, and then of course you're going to need spin, and that's what this wedge is all and about. I, I would imagine the way you do the milling also sort of when the player opens that face for that sort of soft shot around the green allows them to maximize Absolutely. spin. Absolutely, and that's exactly it. When you open up the face, there's more lock. It's a more oblique angle, and that's why the 58 and the 60 have the widest groove possible, spaced as closely possible as allowable by the USGA so that you can have more golf ball touching groove edges, and that's what it's all about. And of course, you finish it off with a high-end aftermarket KBS wedge shaft for this Yeah, product. this is the High Rev 2.0. It's a 125 gram shaft, tested off the charts for spin and spin control for us, and we went that direction. We're also utilizing a Tour Velvet grip that's equipped for the first time with Connect. We've never had a Golf Pride grip with Connect before. We're launching it here. It's in Ricky's irons that we're selling as well, and allows you to connect with the Arcos app and analyze your wedge game. Jose, these are great looking wedges. Thanks for filling us Thank in. Thank you. Appreciate Pleasure it. to be here with you.